uh, with uh, strong support uh, by representatives of Germany and France. So that's why it is a very important agreement. Mr. Dajak, who was the con most constructive side, Kosovo or Serbia? I'm uh, speaking about the last agreement. You know, it takes two to tango, and two, it takes two parties to have an agreement. Mm -hmm. And I praise in my tweet both of my interlocutor, uh, Mr. Bislim and Mr. Pet Petkovic, for, for being constructive. If uh, one party was not constructive, there would be no agreement. I would also say that uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, we spent some eight hours uh, here in Brussels to reach the agreement. And two, only two days earlier, on Monday, uh, there was another meeting that lasted eight hours, uh, which was chaired by Mr. Borrell. Uh, I was in the meeting and President Vucic and Prime Minister Kurti. And unfortunately, that meeting did not produce uh, uh, results. And it looked like we might uh, really go into a serious crisis. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Kosovo side uh, proposed 48 hours extension. Yes. And we knew last mm -hmm. Wednesday that if uh, there is no agreement, then uh, there will be a, a very negative things happening on the ground. So I think the understanding uh, that it's now or that this is the very last chance really helped that parties uh, were very serious and committed. And I, I, I can only repeat that both parties were constructive. Otherwise, there would be no deal. Another question about the, 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 the last meeting between uh, Prime Minister Kurti and uh, Mr. Borrell. Uh, we all saw the, the positioning of, of Mr. Borrell and uh, his language. Any hard feelings between...